Okay, so let's solve the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared with respect to x. So let's find its indefinite integral or its antiderivative. And just by looking at this uh, 1 minus x squared here in the integrand, it's indicative that we'll be using a trigonometric substitution. So let's figure out which one to use. So to do that, to help me do that, I'm going to construct a right angle triangle. So here we have the angle theta. Let's give the longer side, the hypotenuse, a value of 1. And let's label the vertical side as x, which means if we apply Pythagoras' theorem, the horizontal side, or the adjacent side, works out to be 1, the square root of 1 minus x squared. So from this triangle here, x then is equal to the sine of theta. So x being the vertical side of the triangle with hypotenuse 1 is equal to the sine of theta. Let's take the derivative of x with respect to theta. So dx onto theta equals so the sine function differentiates to cosine. And I can separate the differentials and write dx equals cosine of theta d theta. And if I substitute x equals sine theta into the radical here, the integral then becomes the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared of theta and dx is equal to cosine of theta d theta. So here now we can apply the Pythagorean identity in that if cosine squared of x plus the sine squared of x equals 1, then it follows that cosine squared of x equals 1 minus the sine squared of x. So it's now equal to the integral of cosine theta over the square root of cos squared theta d theta. So the square root and the square cancels out. <clears throat> And we're left with the integral of cos theta on cos theta to theta, which of course simplifies to just the integral of d theta, which then evaluates to simply theta plus the integration constant c. All right, so we've got our answer in terms of theta. We just need to now back substitute to get our answer in terms of x. Now, so in letting x equals sine theta, if we take the arc sine of x, the arc sine of both sides, so on the left hand side we'll have the arc sine of x, and on the right hand side the arc sine is the inverse function of sine, so we're just going to be left with theta. That then gives our final answer as the integral of 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx as being equal to the arc sine of x plus the integration constant c. All right, so let's uh, check if this result makes sense by um, having a look at it graphically. So let's have the function f of x equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And let's have its primitive function or its antiderivative as big F of x equals arc sine of x. So let's set c equal to 0 for now. Let's set the integration constant to 0 for now. Okay, so on this chart here, this turquoise curve here is F of x equals 1 on square root of 1 minus x squared. And this orange curve here is its primitive big F of x, which equals arc sine x. Alright, so the domain of the primitive function is between 1 and 1, and the range is between pi on 2 and negative pi on 2, and that is inclusive. So we want to compare the gradient. So as we can see here, arc sine x, the slope here is vertical, as indicated by the curve here which goes off to a very, very large number. But as we progress to the right, 
At the origin, the gradient is 1. So the gradient has a value of 1, and then it gradually increases. And at the right limit of positive 1, the slope is vertical again, which is indicated by this turquoise curve going off to a very large number again. So graphically, the result makes sense. And thus we conclude the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx is equal to arcsine of x plus c. Alright, so that'll do it for this video. If you found it useful, please give me a like and share it on social media. Make this channel famous. Subscribe to the channel for more videos that will help you with your math studies. If you have any questions, use the comment section below and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. For now, best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you on the next video.